Hey guys, in this video, we are gonna show you how to install an aftermarket Noctua heatsink into a Dell Precision T5820 workstation. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna do some side-by-side -side game testing to show you the difference in temperatures between the stock heatsink and the Noctua heatsink. This is the Noctua heatsink that we're gonna show you how to install. As always, we'll post a link to our Precision T5820 hardware upgrade guide in the description of the video to help you locate the parts that we install in this video. This is one of the parts that you'll need to get in addition to the Noctua heatsink. It's a four pin to five pin fan adapter that will allow you to connect the fans to the Dell system board. Everything else that you need will be included in the Noctua heatsink packaging. Also, unlike other Dell Noctua installs, we can use the standard springs provided without having to make modifications. Noctua will also provide multiple metal mounting brackets to accommodate different motherboards. We will be using the NMXFB5 bracket for this install. Now we're going to show you how to install the heatsink. We'll start by removing the side panel and then we'll remove the plastic CPU shroud. Keep in mind that you will no longer be able to use the plastic CPU shroud after the Noctua heatsink is installed. Next, we'll remove the stock heatsink by cross diagonally loosening the Phillips screws. The next step is to remove the old processor and clean off any of the old heat paste. Toilet paper works really well when cleaning off the old heat paste. Now we are ready to reinstall the processor back into the socket. As you can see, we are using an Intel i9-10900X processor. Next, we are going to apply some fresh heat paste. The Noctua NTH1 paste works really well when paired with the Noctua heat sinks. Now we are ready to attach the Noctua heatsink to the motherboard. We'll do this by cross diagonally tightening the springed Torx bolts. Next, we are going to install the cooling fans. We want to make sure the logos of the fans are facing the back of the chassis in order to maintain the front to back cooling of the other fans in the system. The last step of the install is to put the side panel back on. These are the complete specs to our test bed. We are specifically looking for the difference in temperatures between the stock and Actua heat sinks. Let's run through some popular PC game titles to see the results. Comment below and let us know if you think the difference in temperatures was worth the upgrade. Also, if this video was helpful to you, 
please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.